Facebook. Hello. Greetings from my mobile office. I don't have my life-size cutout of John Barrowman yet, but it's gonna go on the door, which I don't use anymore. Or maybe it's gonna block the window because that's affecting the light. Whatever, you don't care. February 25th, Wednesday, super exciting day. Gigantic episode of Arrow. We are relaunching the Sincerously campaign. I am joined by a Sincerously belt buckle. Not available in the campaign relaunch. This was a bespoke gift from a fan in Dallas and my autographed Jake the Snake poster, which probably would have meant more to me in 1990. But nonetheless, we're gonna get to the campaign relaunch in a second. I will tell you that one of the really cool things about doing these campaigns, aside from raising money for excellent charities, Stamp the Silent, Paws and Stripes, has been the long tail of stories that will happen. It begins with photos and we have seen thousands of photos and people in their Sincerely shirts. But then you get into the stories, and the stories are the real long tail of why I love doing these campaigns, because you get to hear from people who have had wonderful experiences with friends that they've met through the Facebook page, or just the community at large. The stories are so interesting and they are so heartwarming. I'm gonna share one with you. It is not from the Sincerely campaign, it's from the F Cancer campaign, but the principle of the idea is the same. This is a letter that I got from Kristen Wilson in Dallas. She says, Stephen, I just wanted to take a quick second and talk about why you attract awesome fans. I'm gonna paraphrase ever so slightly. Kristen learned in December that she had been diagnosed with breast cancer and she wanted to get an F cancer shirt. The campaign had finished. She wasn't able to get one. And a friend of hers began canvassing people on my Facebook page, people in Arrow fan forums to try and find a shirt. Ultimately, a woman from Florida named Lauren Waite shipped me her sweatshirt asking for nothing in return. I wanted to take a moment to acknowledge Lauren to acknowledge Kristen. I hope that Kristen is doing well. And Lauren, from Florida, you are spreading good karma. I love hearing stories like this. Makes doing this so much fun. Let's talk about the campaign relaunch. It's relaunching tonight after Arrow. Like literally, Whatever, I can do that if I want. It's launching at 9 p.m. Eastern Time, so you get to watch the end of tonight's episode of Arrow and go, wait, what? Really? Oh. And then, bang, campaign page will be live. Here's what is available this time that was not available last time. Long sleeve t-shirts. Canvas tote bags. I think those are going to be awesome. Eh, I feel like this campaign is a little bit more conducive to canvas tote bags than the F Cancer campaign, just because of the design etc. We have kid size tees. We haven't been able to corner the market on baby sizes yet, but we have kid sizes. That's really cool. More colors all around and wood signs. What do I mean by wood signs? I mean wood signs. Hey, you can hang them up. Because again, this is not just about shirts. This is about spreading an idea. And I joke all the time about getting the word into the dictionary, and that's all fine and good, but ultimately, it's just about spreading an idea. And whether or not it gets in the dictionary is really immaterial at the end of the day. I'm excited. When the campaign happens, and it's just 48 hours, I tend to do a lot of videos. Fire everybody up! And then poof. It'll be gone. So excited that it's back. Sincerely excited. See everybody tonight. Enjoy the Arrow episode. Thank you again to Kristen and Lauren. All the best.